Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing guys how I got this 360 lace wig ponytail. Now I will say these ponytails that are fully laced, no hair left out, are complicated and it's really easy for it to go wrong. So I have been protecting the technique with my stylist. So of course with any lace wig, you're going to want to go ahead and bleach the lace so it looks more natural. This lace wig is from China Lace Wig. It's a 22 inch 360 200% density wig so this is the hair just being bleached on the lace part and we're going to wash the wig out and when we wash it out we're going to wash it out with a purple shampoo so it won't be as brassy and it's going to tone down the brass color so that's the first step in perfecting the lace so it could possibly blend really well when applying it to your head the next step with any lace is to tweeze, perfect the hairline. Now I have somewhat of a thin hairline naturally, so I want my units to also have a thin hairline so when you put it on, it doesn't look wiggy. So I actually like mine to be tweezed a lot. So this process can take anywhere between 30 to an hour, really. This is after the tweezing was done being placed on my head. And do you, you see how then the hairline is now like it is really mimicking my actual hairline the next step is because we want to have this on as a ponytail I'm going to have to cut out the ears now this is something I can't do myself it's difficult for me um, so Devonte is here he's cutting out the shape of my ear on my wig this placement will be different um, on everybody because your ears are placed at different places when you put on the wig so make sure if you do it yourself to like outline that area or like uh, take a comb and go around your ear and then pin up the rest of the hair so you can like have a guide of where you should cut on your unit now this unit is ready to be flat on she just got her blow dry and we're going to just flat on all this hair i did want to make a note that this unit was slightly too big for my head i have a super small head so this little piece was cut from the back and then stitched back together just because because i wanted to have it up in a ponytail i wanted to be able to fit my head really good so that piece was taken out oh we were blow drying more more blow drying and then flat ironing this hair gets super silky super pretty so that's the flat iron action going on With all my lace units, I have my hair going straight back, so I have a few straight back braids. And then this method, if you watch my channel, you've seen this method a million times with the stocking cap, but these are actually just some stockings that match my skin color. I'm going to be using got to be to apply this. Now, where I feel like it went wrong with this application was that we didn't let the got to be glue dry clear before placing the lace on and that's so 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 important you want to make sure that when you're doing the got to be glue it is clear no matter if you're using the clear or the white it is clear before you place that lace down so as you see here everything's great the application is going great it's like it looks like it's going to be skin but um, this step right, right here, guys, don't mess up. That needs to be clear before or almost clear before you put that down. Because let me, sh I'm going to show you why. You're going to see why. So as you can see, you see a little bit of that white. That white is going to dry white if you don't let it dry clear before placing the lace down. That's so important. So it doesn't look bad, but um, I do feel like it would have looked even better the white wouldn't have shown through if we would have let it dry so this is putting the hair up into the pony i'm like oh i'm the lace is still not cut off we're doing the ponytail making sure we have it sleek and up before cutting off the lace um just because if we cut off the lace i think the placement will be a little bit harder so this is the pony we're cutting the lace off now as you can see, still a little bit of white spots. So because of that, we end up having to do baby hairs on this unit. Now, I like baby hairs, but if we could have had this unit like sleek, 
you know, melting into the skin, just looking like skin, um, I think I wouldn't have had baby hairs. So I love this unit. This is like my ponytail unit since we have this style in the ponytail. And now it's just easy. When I know I want to have a ponytail, I put my stocking cap on, got to be glue. Um, it's already up in the ponytail. I may redo the ponytail a little bit, but the ears are already cut out. Like the placement of this unit is already in a ponytail. So this is my pony wig. <laughs> And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys try to do a pony with the wig. Um, definitely something to perfect. Like I think next time I'll have it down packed and we'll be able to perfect this uh, style. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. So guys, now that the baby hairs are laid, this has been on for about like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, taking it off to reveal the baby hairs. Ooh.